Hello, hello, lovely people. I felt really called to record today and do a channel tarot reading, so here we are. So I felt called to pull a message from this book right here, The Zen Wisdom, The Way to the Top, by Ashika Yoshihara and Rosemary Brand. So I'm just going to flip to a random page and see what kind of message we get through our bibliomancy. Oh, it's a good one. Criticism. When my late teacher, Mayord, was exiled, there were some students who privately criticized him. Assembly Chief Yin said, in general, when criticizing and talking about people, you should try to find where the same fault is flawless. How can you call the flawless faulty? If you don't look into people's hearts and just doubt their actions, what use is it to the democracy of the common of the community? Meoxy's uh, virtue and ability come from nature. In his guidance and his conduct, he only follows duty. In thought and reasoning, he definitely excels other people. Now that creation is silencing him, there must be a reason. What can we know other than this might be a blessing for teaching one day? Those who heard this no longer criticized. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I just had a coffee date with a friend of mine who is a spiritual person. And we were just discussing some of the challenges that we have within our relationships with our partners who are not spiritual people and how challenging it is to be a spiritual person who follows their intuitive guidance and to be with somebody who does not understand the spiritual guidance and criticizes the choices that you are making when you are following the guidance of source, God, universe, creator, whatever phrase works the best for you. Um, so it's very interesting that that would come up. All right. I don't know who needed to hear that, but there's your message. So let's pull a few cards and get some ideas real quick of um, what might be a message, any other messages that those in our lovely collective might need to hear today. Any messages that our collective needs to hear today, please? Thank you. You are releasing a heavy burden, an energy of burden. So in this card, what we see is this person who's got this ox and it's very heavily laden. And the Ten of Wands generally talks about um, having a heavy energetic burden, something that is very hard to handle. Um, and it's exhausting. And you're tired and exhausted from carrying all of this extra weight. This stuff might not even be hers. This might be somebody else's. It came in reverse. So you are releasing a, a burden that has been heavy and challenging for you. And by releasing it, it's going to bring you this beautiful abundance. Here we have the king of pentacles. And here he's sitting here with his companion, his animal companion, his wolf. And he's got his pentacle and he looks very happy and relaxed. Check him out. Look at that. He looks so very happy and relaxed. He's got his nice big pentacle here. He's just chilling. So as you release this heavy burden, you're going to find more abundance comes to you. Now, abundance does not necessarily mean money. It can. It absolutely can. But it doesn't necessarily mean money every single time. Pentacles are things in our physical world, blessings that are coming to you in your physical world. And the king of pentacles is someone who has more than enough, more than enough, an abundance of blessings, an abundance of things in this world. So as you release, new things come in. I actually did a... Um, a podcast episode not that long ago about uh, purging and the blessings that come with purging and purging being letting go of things. So there is an energy right now that you are going through where you are releasing an energetic burden that is has been very heavy for you and with it will come blessings for you. Because this is part of the lessons with the Hierophant. 
with the higher font, we see this person who is very, very, very happy. See this, like, I'm talking happy. That is blissfully happy. And it comes, they're sitting in a nice lotus position, fingers entwined. And if you follow these stairs, they go up to this light up here. I call this the stairway to heaven. This is enlightenment. This card always makes me think of enlightenment and being in a, a greater sense of growth. So as you release this heavy burden, you will be blessed and it will help you become enlightened. And with it will come your Ten of Cups, your happiness, your joy, your bliss. The Ten of Cups is the happiest card in the deck here in the uh, minor uh, the low, the minor arcana. We've got all these cups are full. We've got this beautiful rainbow. We've got these people who are happy. We've got children who are happy. This is true joy and happiness. As you are releasing these burdens, you are being blessed. All right. So you've got the Queen of Swords upright, the High Priestess upright, and the Queen of Pentacles upright. Lots of queens, lots of royalty here. Kings, queens, everybody here so far is somebody of high standing. The queen of swords, it's mental, right? She's looking off in the distance, but she knows who she is. She's got her sword ready to cut those out of her life who are no longer in alignment with her. She does have her emotions locked down, but... I don't feel that this is emotions locked imprisonment like it has been in previous readings. I feel like this is her making logical decisions that are not necessarily based solely in emotion, but in logic and in making these logical choices that are in alignment for you, but also keeping in your intuition because this is the high priestess. She has an inner knowing. She knows who she is. And you see here, her eyes are both open and closed. They're closed in the physical world, but they're open in the spiritual world with the light at her third eye chakra. Um, so this is someone who is connecting with her inner knowing. She knows what's going on because she trusts her intuition. She trusts the messages from source. And it comes with the Queen of Pentacles. You've now got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is about to be blessed very heavily. Look at her as well. She's chill. She knows who she is. Look at that face, right? She is abundant. She has her nice big pentacle there. She is calm. She is well-dressed. She knows who she is. She's getting all of those blessings coming to her. And I feel like all of this, I'm getting chills as I say this, this is part of your path. And I feel like this all comes with letting go of this burden that you've been carrying. <laughs> because there is a rebirth coming for you. I, d I just saw eight on the timer, 808, which in my house we call that Bob, because the eights look like a B. But that's interesting that it would be the eight, because look at that. Right? The death and rebirth card, because something is about to be reborn for you. Something old had to die for something new to come in. Something had to end. A death had to end. Something had to end. That burden that you were carrying had to end. And as it is ending, something new is going to be reborn for you. This beautiful abundance that's coming in, but it's going to, you're going to be required to be discerning with your thoughts trust your intuition, and that will bring in your rebirth and abundance. On the bottom of the deck, we have the page of swords in reverse, releasing immature ideas, releasing immature thought patterns. Swords are our thought patterns, releasing immature thought patterns. So that might come with that criticism that came in our book, that came in our message, releasing criticisms, or maybe releasing those who are criticizing you and knowing where you are coming from, knowing your value, knowing your worth. I'm going to pull a card from the Shadow Healing Emotions deck and see what emotion might be coming through in this reading today as we're releasing these burdens releasing these energetic burdens, looking for our abundance coming in, letting go of old immature ideas, looking for our happily ever after that is coming. 
our pentacles are coming, our lessons are learned, our lessons have been learned. What emotion is coming through here, please? Thank you. We have paralyzed. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear, but standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create change. And that goes exactly with our beautiful death and rebirth card. The thing is, if we don't change anything, nothing ever changes. Um, if What is the statement? I don't remember who said the quote, but um, if you look at things the same, if you do things the same way you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. If you want this rebirth, if you want this abundance, if you want these things, you have to to be willing to let go 1055 on the clock you have to be willing to let go of what is no longer right for you you have to be able to walk away and it's going to be hard if you're going to end this burdensome cycle carrying all these things it's something you're not familiar with and it's going to be challenging but at least if we move forward we at least create some type of change even if it's not the change we're going for right away. If we keep doing the same things we've always done, we're going to get what we've always gotten. So if you want to have this rebirth and death, you have to be willing to allow something to change, allow something to do something, allow some type of movement forward. If it's not even in the right path, it doesn't even matter. At least it's movement. It's creating movement with energy, right? So that's the message I have for you today. Um, so remember when criticism happens, take that criticism with a grain of salt, but allow it to change you, allow it to get the rebirth, allow it to let you see what ideas you're holding on to that are outdated and no longer good for you so that you can release the burdens and have this beautiful abundance that's coming to you. If you want to book a personal reading, you can find that information in the description box. And uh, if you like more of this stuff, check out the rest of my channel. I have lots of pick a cards and channeled readings available there. Until next time, fellow humans, keep dropping those things that are holding you back from being your best, most authentic you. Love and light. Bye.